Hey Scott Grove here and I want to give you a tip on molds for pen blanks or turning blanks. Um, you can certainly, if you're getting into this, it might be quite of an investment to, to, to get up and running. You got to buy a mold and, and it just gets a little pricey. Now there are rigid molds, typically milled out of HDPE, there's silicone molds, some are into molds, some are not, and that's all fine and, and if you get into making pens and casting pens, Certainly that is the way to go. Uh, but if you're just starting out and you just want to give it a try, um, you can go a lot cheaper. You can get a, a short section of PVC pipe and you can simply hot glue that down to a piece of plastic. I like the HDPE, high density polyethylene. Nothing sticks to it. Sticks to it. It's like a, what cutting boards are made out of. Although cutting boards are usually textured in polypropylene, but it'll still work. Uh, <clears throat> The one issue when you're doing this is that these have parallel edges. They don't have what's called draft, right? And draft is an, a, a sort of a conical shape. So when you push the piece out, once it releases, the whole thing releases. Well, if you've got parallel edges and you try to push this thing through, it, it's going to be tough. And if you're casting epoxy, you're certainly going to want to use a, a good mold release, but it can still be difficult to get that thing slide out. So the trick that I do is I simply cut this PVC tube on the bandsaw in two pieces. Um, <clears throat> what I like to do also is cut a little curve, right? And that actually helps register uh, the piece up and down so one side isn't a little longer than the other. And then you can simply tape this together with a little tape. And believe it or not, even with that curve, it will still hinge open. That also allows you to uh, Put it open and you can certainly add your mold release to the open face mold. Now you know you got a good coating. Put this back together, tape it, glue it down, and you're good to go. But this is a great way to create cylindrical blanks because they're a little easier to start turning, right? If you cast a, a square one, right? Obviously when you put this on, you got the edges and that's a little chattery and you're wasting resin and oh, there's all sorts of... Uh, that's a nice one too. Woo. Anyhow, so, oh. so this is a great way of doing it. Here's uh, Gold Leaf and Mother of Pearl from Easy Inlay. There's also another one. This is PowerShell and Opal. And you can do larger pipe for some wine stoppers or beer openers, things like that. This is just a great way to get sort of into this business, if you will, without a lot of investment. So here's one I did yesterday. Let's uh, give this a try. You can simply mark that off. I'll put a little knife on here. Oh, I guess I should cut the tape, huh? That probably makes sense. And I'm gonna cut myself on camera. Oh, look at that. Close up. So there you go. These are actually uh, tea buds that I don't drink a lot of tea, so I cast them. I think they're kind of nice. You get this little flange here, that's called flash, but it's so thin that simply carves off. And now I have myself a nice blank that I can start turning, and it's already round. Here, obviously I'd wanna cut this off or sand this off, but um, yeah, I think this is a great way if you wanna get into uh, making your own blanks for, for turning using easy inlay material or, or natural found material or what have you. Uh, these were cast with epoxy. Urethane casting is a whole nother thing there. So um, check that out. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, comment, all the above. Okay, bye-bye.